Stone Soccer Stadium is Furman Soccer's home. Today it's quiet, but last night it was a living, breathing entity. It was alive with passion, madness, and joy as Michael Gandier put away his first goal of the season for the Paladins' 3-2 win against Clemson in overtime. <laughs> 3,000 people came out to Stone Soccer Stadium to watch the 53rd meeting of the Upstate Derby. It was Carolina Elite Soccer Academy night. They came out in force. It was also Ruby Tuesday night. The stadium was full of people from every background, united by one team, one Furman, and one sport. The game itself was a tale of two halves. The Paladins went down 2-0 in the first half and struggled to take chances on Clemson's goal. The first chance came with a Gandier shot 40 minutes into the game. At halftime, the team left the stadium. The mood wasn't somber. Stone Soccer Stadium is Furman Soccer's home. Coach Allison reminded the team that they had 45 minutes to prove themselves. He asked that the players show that they deserve to be on the field. The players came back into the stadium determined. They're going to turn this game around. They're going to make this a half to remember. The stadium became alive with hope as Furman Soccer pounded at Clemson's goal. And just when it seemed that the team wouldn't do it, they did. In the 81st minute, Colton Henning released Tony Santabanez into the box. Tony won his team a penalty kick. Which is converted by Martin Ontiveros. Only two minutes later, Walker Zimmerman scored his fifth goal of the season off of Kevin Paul Cross. With two minutes left, Furman were unlucky not to add a third. Eight, seven. As time whittled down, the score was tied 2-2 still. This game was headed into overtime. Let's go! How does it feel? How does that feel? How does that feel? Furman soccer wanted to win. The feeling of the teams and the fans is that they had to do everything they could to find this goal, to come out on top. Overtime is a challenge in college soccer because it is goal and goal. One goal wins or loses the game. On Saturday, Furman found out how cruel overtime can be. Today was going to be different. And in the third minute of overtime, just when everyone thought a corner kick had lost its harm, Michael Gandier was able to show that you never give up. He struck the ball. It slid under a defender and Furman have won the game. <laughs> the stadium, the fans, the team. This experience is simply stunning. Everyone is part of a living organism. The passion fuels a thirst for the sport and a warmth even when the weather is cold. This is what defines Furman Soccer's home. Stone Soccer Stadium. Just beat Clemson in overtime. What do you think? How was it? Uh, it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. Heck of a game. game. I'm sorry. How do you feel about soccer now? Uh, I love it. How does it feel to see the, the boys play like that? It's awesome. Big fan. Happy for them. Straight win for the boys. They needed that after the bad loss up in Elon. I'm glad I stayed till the end. I'm Always glad I showed up the, the second half for the good part. How's it? How's it? How's it? How's it, how's it feel? Speechless. We just, it was a well-deserved win. We made it interesting, but it just shows that you don't ever give up. Good things happen. I'm proud of the boys. Hot in your celebration. <laughs> um, I think it was about three times. I knew I was going to get mauled, so I was just trying to delay the pain. And uh, you, how many goals did you score at Furman, and did you know that you were going to score a goal tonight? I think I've only scored about four goals. Uh, I hadn't had any this year, so I was, I was hoping I was going to get one at some point this year. I didn't want a goose egg, so it was, it was good to get one tonight. The stadium is quiet. It's resting. It's a sleeping giant waiting for the next game.
The stadium will come alive for Furman Soccer's next home game on Saturday, October 13 at 7.30 p.m. This is senior night. It is a night of legacy, memory, and meaning. We hope that everyone can be a part of it by coming out to the stadium or following us on Twitter during the game. We are glad to share our joy, our passion with you, because we know with you, our fans, and in our stadium that we'll never walk alone.